And welcome back to Shantae and the Pirate's Curse. I am thirsty again. Okay. Man of Factory. Key. Crap. Chest. Crap. Okay. Uh, let's see. Where to start? This dungeon's actually not too hard. And this is kind of short, actually. To, to me, it seems short anyway. Then again, I didn't have too many issues with this because the previous dungeon was a hell of a lot shorter than I remember it being. But I also remember my first time playing that one, I struggled with it, so who knows. We'll see how this goes. But yeah, once we get that final power up, I'll be able to collect everything in the game. These blue variants are those red enemies. I don't think they do anything different. They're just blue. One day, you drop a little thing. I thought that water was going to be some kind of obstacle. I said that wrong. Eh. There you go. Jump carefully across. Okay, here's one key. Which we can use across the hall. One thing about these dungeons, they're... There's... A decent amount to explore. But they're, for the most part, straightforward. I don't know if I mentioned this before, but... You can't really get too lost. I mean, you might have trouble figuring something out, but it's not to the extent of Zelda. I'm just using a personal, um, wow, well, there's some crap. I'm just using a personal example, because in, uh, Twilight Princess, there were a couple of times where I got flat out lost in dungeons, even with a map. But here, it's just like, eh, there's only so many places you can go. Just might have to do a little bit of thinking to figure something out. Ow. I forgot what this enemy does. Oh! Well, fork in a basket. It blows up. Ow. Alright, move. I don't like, I kind of like the design of that robot. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Oh, the explosion broke the vase. That thing looks like it's in pain. Oh, hey, hey, hey. bad touch! Jerks. At a safe point already. Uh, I think I'll be good. Grab this chain. Two chains! I had to make the joke once. And down here. Two chains. I don't even listen to him. <laughs> I just gotta die. Goofed. Yeah, I don't. I don't see the appeal of him. He's kind of just there. I mean, I do listen to hip hop. It's just. He's one of those rappers where it's just like, you're a waste of. Space, my friend. Well, you're not even a friend, you're just that guy who's named after a number in an object. I don't know what the significance behind that name was. Two chains. That's so. I don't know. Is that why he became famous? Because he's named after two objects? I don't. I'm babbling. Uh. Oh! It's kind of obvious what I had to do, but I had a brain fart. There we go. Okay. Fork! Fork! Tight. 
time it's just right. There we go. I got squished last time. Lost stars! They were in the first dungeon, actually. And here is a key. That's actually a good spot for the map, <laughs> if you want my honest opinion, but whatever. And... <laughs> Risky's Cannon. I love this thing so much. And no, you don't use it for office. You can, but that's not what it's for. Multiple jumps, baby! Love it. So much. This combined with Risky's Boots, LOL, is freaking awesome. Just hella fun to use. Favorite power up in the game, hands down. Now how do I... How do I... There we go. There's the map. Okay, we covered... Almost the entire place. Okay. Hey. <laughs> Ow. Jerk. All right. But yeah, we're almost done. Key. And like I said earlier. We have every single item in the game. <laughs> Ooh, excuse me. So now we can just pretty much find everything. I don't know if I want to make that a own video or just tap it onto the last bit of this. I'm not sure. Hmm. We'll see what happens. Another key. All right. Oh, right. Gotta hold it. Heart squid. I don't know how many I found. <laughs> Actually, I was paying attention. I think that was the first one. Oh wait, you know what? Isn't there like a... I'm trying to think, how do I... Oh, I know how to get it. Jeez. Ow. That's great. <laughs> destroy them without making the self-destruct. I just... Eh. That's so fun. Oops. Hmm. Okay, but in order to get that heart squid... wonder if I can make that... Nope! Too far. Okay. Alright. So, what you do is, do is just use the cannonball up here. <laughs> oh, I almost <laughs> lost myself up past the barricade. But yeah, that's how you get that R squid. 
the door unlocked yet. Okay. Oops. <laughs> okay. Need that key. That was easy. Okay. Now we can open that door we were just at like two seconds ago. I know how to get that thing. I gotta give myself room first. The boss of this place. I remember the boss. It was kind of random. By the dragon. Kind of fun, though. Okay. That's the uh, dog. Okay. But yes, the boss of this dungeon is Gate. My God, no I'm kidding. The boss is. Steel maggot. Patent pinning. Okay, what you want to do is hit the three things on his back. It does have a specific pattern. It's just, I don't remember the pattern at all. I can never determine. Seems to be random. Okay. Hit up the bum. Up the bum. Up the bum. Up the bum. So let's see. Oh, okay, I gotta hit it. And dead monster milk makes everything a joke. All right, and with that, the final den of evil is destroyed. Tinker bats. That we get the uh, yeah last map. <laughs> I'm sorry, I got distracted by something right there. <laughs> okay, but, but first let's head back to Rapello Town. I don't think I need to see charge. Nope. <laughs> that would have been hilarious. Ah, uh, let's see. Yeah, up here. Heart squid. I honestly don't remember how many heart squids there are in this one alone. I know this place has the most. It's between this place and Scuttle Town that has the most heart squids. But I need. Let me think. Uh, four more, and then I will have all of them. Jerks. Let's see. Uh, I'm trying to remember what all is over here. I think a cackle bat's here. Yeah. I believe this is the final cackle bat for this island. The other four are between Scuttle Town and Mudbog Island.
Huh, what's up here? Uh, nothing. Matter of fact, I think I've got everything now. Yeah, let's start to... No, 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 there's one more thing I haven't explored yet. It's actually by Bolo. I was about to say, let's go talk to Bolo. Oh, no! Good thing I have recovery. <laughs> or else I'd be falling all the way down. The breath up here is great for my fresh air. I don't understand that line at all. The breath up here is great for my fresh air. The breath up here is great for my fresh air. Am I just not... I don't know. Oh, wait. Okay, this should be the final heart squib. <laughs> she has like three different recordings for that one line. Kind of interesting. Hmm. <laughs> Just wait till have Genie Hero. Well, I don't know if she'll join forces, but she'll definitely be playable. Yes. That makes me wonder though, will she play similar to how Shantae plays in this game, except with, instead of a hair whip, will she use her sword? Hmm. The grave map. Which is the final island in the game, Lonely Grave. However, I'm not going to go there yet. I'm going to do a little bit of clean up! Now. Charge. Time your shots just right. You should make it across the gap. And over here, you will find... A cackle bat. Good in my lamp. Alright, so that was number 17. T three more to find. I almost said two. I can't indeed math. And just do the same thing to get across. Anyway, let's head back to the forest. Alright, back in the forest. As you might recall, we saw a heart squid back in part two. That was all the way up here in the street. Use the cannon. Bam. Heart squid found. Alright. Now, let's head back to the pirate ship. And I will meet y'all back in Mudbug Island. So just as I arrived to the island select screen, I remember there's one more cackle bat here. And it's actually in the sewers. Whoops. And yeah, there is another secret in the sewers, but I kind of want to save that as a bonus video just for you to get some shiggles. It's nothing fantastic. This is just kind of there. So, eh. Anyway, what I want to do is clear this spot right here and charge. And bam! Final cut of that. Of the island. Screw you. All right, this is the true final cut of that of this island. All right, two more to go. That okay. 
I will see y'all on Mud Bog Island for real this time. No. I think it was here. I gotta just recharge. Let's see. No. Oh, wait. I don't even have to supercharge. I just need to. One, two. Hard squid. I do need to supercharge down below, though. If the reserve right. Ah! Chuckle. Jerks. Oh, no. Okay. I think I need to head back to the other place. That's all it's on. So. Let's see. Okay, now back here is the cannon right there. Cackle bat. Use a lamp. Alright, one more cackle bat, and it is in this area. We also have one more heart squid, which is also in this area. Fall down here. Jerk. Jerk. Everyone must die. Let's charge here. Do not, don't need to. I just felt like it. Hmm, what if I could charge? Nope. Okay, but you can use a cannon right here. Find the final cackle bat of the game. Huzzah! Huzzah, 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 just die already! Thank you! Alright, and that's all 20 of them. I have no idea what happens if you approach the final stretch of the game without all 20 dark magic thingamajiggers. Because every time I reach the final boss, I always have it, so eh. Dang it. Charge right here. Shazam! The final heart squid. And with that, I'm going to go back to Scuttle Town. Orc! See on a little bit. Okie dokie, back in Scuttle Town, let's talk to this lovely lady right here. So she can give us our final health upgrades in the game. The last three. If memory serves me right. And one last. Hammer arm for the hell of it. Talk to her again. And she'll tell you your hearts are maxed out. And with that, we now have everything in the game. But just to reassure y'all, everything is Skull Town, everything is Survival Island, everything is Spider Web Island, everything in Tanline Island, everything in Mud Bog Island, and everything in Frostbite Island. All that's left to do is to go to Lonely Grave, and we will have that probably split this into two parts. We'll see what happens, but thank y'all for watching, and I will see you then. Take care, y'all.